On January 12, 2010, disaster struck and plunged the poorest nation in the Western Hemisphere into even deeper poverty. Haiti's 7.0 magnitude earthquake killed more than 200,000 men, women, and children. It reduced homes, churches, and businesses across the capital city of Port-au-Prince to rubble. The earthquake was the worst the country had experienced in more than 200 years. The simple shanties where poor families lived stood no chance against it. Even sturdier buildings, including the presidential palace and local UN headquarters, were destroyed. All levels of Haitian society, from the lowest to the highest, were deeply affected. To escape the destruction and chaos, survivors from the hardest-hit areas began fleeing to the countryside in search of relatives or IDP camps. Now, more than six months later, thousands of survivors are still living in tent cities. Our initial response provided immediate help for the injured, homeless, and hungry. But the country also needs a broader blueprint for its long-term recovery. Providing displaced victims of the earthquake with shelter is a primary concern, and one that Cross International is committed to addressing. We've launched an effort to build earthquake-resistant homes for refugee families. In partnership with Shelter to Home, we're providing a practical, affordable, environmentally friendly, and culturally acceptable housing solution for families who lost their homes in the earthquake. The shelter-to-home system uses a metal framework to create the main structure of the house. The homes are built from prepared components that are manufactured to order for a specific floor plan. This allows the materials to be packaged, transported, and assembled as kits, a major advantage when groups of houses are being constructed in one area. Among other benefits, the system allows workmen to construct the kits in hours with just a few basic tools. A unique reflective fabric covering is then placed over the structure to provide waterproofing. The covering reflects 96% of the sun's heat and keeps the home's interior cool. With the covering in place, the home is functional and a family can move in immediately but the shelter can still be easily disassembled and moved if necessary. Once any land issues are settled, the shelter can quickly and easily become a permanent structure. The base is embedded in concrete when the floor is poured. Metal lath and stucco is applied over the fabric to the exterior and interior, and the house is painted. All materials to complete the home are 100% recyclable, and manufactured in Haiti to provide local employment. Assembling the homes will also provide employment to Haitian construction crews. The finished homes are built to withstand earthquakes, hurricanes, fire, and floods. They are also resistant to termites, mold, and mildew. Not least, the shelter-to-home houses look and function like traditional Haitian homes, so they are culturally acceptable and a welcome addition to neighborhoods and they can be added on to later. Families still living under tents so many months after the earthquake are praying for a safe place to live. These shelter-to-home houses are a powerful answer to their desperate prayers. Please, will you help us provide a house and new hope to a family today?